Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do our daily technical analysis update. We're gonna work through the dollar, yields, precious metals, commodities and ETFs that I follow. I'm gonna give you my financial opinion across the whole board here. And if you guys need any help with anything, check out my website, finding-value.com. Uh, you can sign up using the word discount in the coupon code for a discount. So let's dive in. Let's see what we got. We had uh, Powell give a quarter point rate hike. And it looks like he's signaling that we may not get any more rate hikes, maybe another quarter point at most, uh, something like that. And that's going to have an impact on how the markets were trading today. So looking at the DXY, this is the relative strength indicator of the dollar. Um, we sold off quite hard in the beginning, but it looks like we're putting a little wick at the bottom here. That's generally an indication where we could have a little bounce to the upside in the short term. Uh, so I would be looking for a DXY bounce potentially in the short term. And looking at the 10-year the yield, the 10-year yield sold off dramatically today. Uh, we ended up down 2.9%. This is a bearish formation. So this is a bearish engulfing that generally heads lower. Uh, so when the yield curve comes back down, and we very well could be normalizing the yield curve to some extent, precious metals really like that. So I would suspect that precious metals would be strong today um, with a downward move in the 10-year yield and the DXY heading lower. Those are huge tailwinds for precious metals. The 30-year yield, not down as much, but it still looks like it wants to head a little bit lower. Um, that is a bearish engulfing as well. <clears throat> so we've got in on so we've got a normalization of the curve. The the 10 year fell more than the 30 year, and we got a dollar that's weaker, and that's jet fuel for precious metals to go higher. Bond price is heading higher. It looks pretty strong here. Uh, this is a reversal candlestick today, and that does look like it wants to go higher, or at least it'll try to through that resistance line that we've got up there. <clears throat> so that's what we've got for the setup in terms of yields. I would say that this looks good for bonds, potentially, uh, and precious metals, and potentially lower yields. That's, that's kind of how I would sum up after this meeting. So CRB index was flat today. Not much really to report there. The CRB to S&P 500 went up dramatically today. Massive move higher. This could be the retest and a break to the upside for commodities. Uh, that could be a likelihood where commodities outperform the S&P 500. There it is in the kind of the big picture view, kind of a double top. And then we're heading back down and now we're starting to gain some traction here in the short term. Gold heading quite a bit higher today. Uh, what we did is we basically broke out. Uh, let's go down to the weeklies here. So we broke out and we did a retest move here um, back to that support level. And then I'm looking for a bounce higher out of precious metals, especially given the interest rates um, moving lower like they did and the normalization of the curve. So that definitely looks like we could go higher. And I forgot to go over the normalization of the curve. The normalization of the curve, that's what it did today uh, for the TYX, TNX ratio. Sorry, I had to go over this one last time. We're very low, and this does look like we're ready to launch higher. Um, this would be equivalent to buying it, buying gold and precious metals back in 2018 of July, June, July, August timeframe. So I do think that we have a setup ahead of us for precious metals. Silver also launching higher today. <clears throat> nice movements here. Big candlesticks, small sell-offs. Very nice momentum to the upside. Platinum also joining in the mix up 1.6%. We are getting a little bit of selling pressure up here. You can see those wicks starting to come out like that. So <clears throat> the they get bought up, sold off, bought up, sold off. We could head lower if it decides to um, pop out to the downside, which I hope it does because I want to buy more platinum because uh, we've got a bearish engulfing here yesterday and we're getting that selling pressure with the wicks at the top. XAU to gold ratio um, moving sideways, slightly lower today, which means the miners didn't really outpace gold its, itself. 
Uh, is this a double bottom pattern? Yeah, that's tough to say. <clears throat> but sideways today in this ratio, uh, we have not broken out of some key areas, which is this big trend line that we have not broken out yet. And we could see some more chopping and moving around sideways, is my guess. GDX, so we were up today, but it didn't really outrun gold all that much. We're right on support, and we do have a wick at the top. Not really confidence-inspiring moves um, with gold going up. You'd want to see the miners finish strong, close strong, and really rip it to the upside. Maybe it needs more upside in gold for that to happen, <clears throat> but it looks good. It just doesn't look that good. And then SilJ also heading higher. We still got these little wicks at the top. Sellers like to come out and kind of sell it off. Uh, so it's not, you know, it's it's an up day. It's, it's nice and all, but we've also got some strong selling pressure right next to it. And I don't see that strong closing like I normally see if it's going to run and just, just absolutely destroy it so uh again i'd like to see more buying pressure before uh, i make a, a clear case that this is definitely going higher crude oil um it touched that resistance line so we were up today about half a percent we've got buying pressure down here which reversed it a little bit higher is this going to roll over or is this going to punch through well that's what we're gonna have to find out and Tomorrow, we'll, uh, I'll definitely report on it and see what it does. But uh, right now, that, that can go either way. It can go down or up. Uh, we don't have a strong candlestick. We don't have a strong closing for a strong case, to, case for the upside. We also have contraction in the opening and closing prices, which generally means you're slowing down momentum. Uh, but it is only one day. So <laughs> we're going to see what happens here in the next, uh, this week here. Natural gas. A little bit of selling pressure. Yeah, we're getting wicks at the bottom. There's some buying pressure there. I think natural gas is a good spot, in, in my opinion, down in this general area for a good look at natural gas. Natural gas is cheap, uh, probably against every single asset that you can price it against. That's that's one uh, fact there. <laughs> uh, XOP, yeah, you know me. Getting, getting some selling pressure later in the day. If you look, we really sold off here. So uh, I think we probably are going to head lower in the short term. Uh, we do have uh, some selling pressure here. So I think we're going to head lower uh, in XOP in the short term. How much lower? That's up to de that's going to be determined by what the buyers and sellers do and what oil does. But it looks like it wants to get sold off to the downside. OIH is also doing the same thing. It was sold off quite strong late in the day. Uh, this is what it looks like. That is a bearish engulfing as well, so it does look like it wants to head lower in the short term um, to head back down. And we'll have to see what that does in the short term. I think we're coming back here, is my guess, for the energy service companies. Sprout Physical Uranium Trust, uh, it doesn't look too bad. The selling pressure really held up well. Uh, it still has a chance to move on up. It still looks really good in this section there. Good buying pressure, small selling pressure. Uh, that generally is a con continuation pattern to the upside. URNM, a little bit more selling pressure here. So I do think that we could be going sideways to slightly lower. This is what it looks like in the short term. So you could say, yeah, basically an uptrend that was broken to the downside. So we could maybe revisit down in the $28.50, $29 range, uh, or even $28 range, wherever this guy was last time, $28.28. $28. We could head back down there in the short term. Uh, we've got tan, tan down 2.15%. It's not a reversal candlestick, but it's not really confidence inspiring either. Uh, so we're just kind of squeezing up into the corner here. We'll see which way this thing breaks in the short term. I still think this will go up longer term, though. COPX uh, down 0.7%. Uh, this does look like we could potentially head a little bit to the downside, had a little reversal candlestick today. It's an inverted hammer candlestick. So we can see a little bit of downside pressure. Uh, LIT also getting that, maybe a little bit of downside pressure over the next day or two. Uh, REMX also exhibiting that. A little bit of selling pressure, bearish engulfing. We could head lower in the short term. Uh, the S&P 500 had a pretty nasty reversal. It looks like we were running and then it reversed and headed lower. 
Uh, this does look like it could potentially head lower in the short term. Very strong closing to the downside. And same with the NASDAQ. We could, we could see some downside pressure still. Uh, if you want to see what it did, you can see the strong selling pressure towards the end of the day where someone just dumped it. And that momentum is most likely going to continue to the downside. There's your, there's your, uh, your rising wedge breakout to the downside, which does not look too hot. Uh, EEM also getting a little bit of a reversal candlestick. We could head a little bit lower in the short term for EEM. XHB also doing the same as the overall markets. This is the Home Builder Index. Uh, getting that strong reversal towards the end of the day, like most of them, and we'll see if it holds that support. Uh, the support line is this guy right here. So we're right at support, and we'll see if it holds. Moo also getting some selling pressure uh, on the dailies here. This does look like it wants to head lower, uh, and that looks a little bit bearish for Moo. And I do think that we'll head uh, back down to this area down here in the short term. Copper. Copper is, um, it was up today, a little wick at the top. Still looks all right, but I still, I still think we're going sideways to slightly lower, given we've got larger selling pressure with smaller buying pressure in the short, short term. Lumber uh, selling off today, just like the rest, but we're still above strong support. That support line is that big line going across the whole top of the pricing uh, area for the last decade plus. Iron ore getting a little bit of selling pressure does look like we could head a little bit lower in the short term. Nickel also heading a little bit lower in the short term. There we are. I'm just trying to see if we have any, it looks like we're trying to come into some corner here, so it's probably gonna be short-lived and we'll eventually work our way higher. Aluminum, also, yeah, that one's up a little bit today. Good job, aluminum. Uh, but we're just moving sideways in a little consolidation area right where we're at. And we'll see if we can turn on up. Baltic Dry Index selling off a little bit. There it is. And I do think that we could fall back down a little bit to do a retest move. Newcastle Coal uh, up today. Switching back and forth. I can't really see it there, but it's just sideways today. And then we've got Ethereum selling off, which looks like we could... I mean, this this could break out of this little megaphone pattern either way. Same with Bitcoin, getting a little bit more of selling pressure, but that's broken to the upside already, so it still looks all right. Uh, so that's what we've got for today, and it looks like we got some selling pressure and some momentum to the downside. Uh, we could see some downward pressure over the next day or two, uh, or maybe it turns into something longer. We'll have to see how much selling pressure uh, it exhibits. Uh, so think... I would think that we're going to see selling pressure in the beginning of the day, and we'll have to see what, where it goes uh, tomorrow. But overall, a uh, little bit lower and a little bit more, a little bit of selling pressure in the short term. Yields look like they're ready to fall. Dollar looks like it could turn back up. Um, kind of a mixed bag, really, to be honest. Uh, and I'm going to watch and see what the, the markets do. I'm not a short-term trader. I play this stuff more of a long-term basis, but uh, that's what I'm seeing in the short term. Uh, all right, guys, so I've got. Give me a thumb up for the content. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to the website if you'd like. And uh, we'll catch you next time. This is Finding Value.